हेलो व्यूअर्स होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वी आर बैक विद एन अदर लेक्चर ऑन सोलर प्रोजेक्ट डिजाइन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी सीइंग दैट हाउ कैन वी डिजाइन द सर्किट ब्रेकर्स एंड हाउ कैन वी सिलेक्ट द सर्किट ब्रेकर्स करेक्टली और राइट इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ कैन वी सिलेक्ट द सोलर केबल ए सी आउटपुट केबल फॉर द इन्वर्टर्स सो हेयर वी in lecture 15 we draw this uh, circuit diagram and we explain the summary and in this lecture we explain that uh, let's say if this is the scenario we have more than one inverters and uh, which are connected through ac cable with the distribution box and uh, in distribution box we have uh, circuit breakers uh, connected to the ac cable so this is our ac combiner box and these breakers need to be calculated in a proper way all right so uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss about uh, these breakers and uh, how can we select the breakers correctly so there are three uh, different parameters or different factors which we need to consider the first one is the rated current so we need to calculate the rated current of a circuit breaker that which circuit breaker we need to select and what should be its rated capacity of current so uh, to calculate the rated current we uh, we must need to uh, see the inverter output so we need to look at uh, inverter data sheet and uh, we need to see its output uh, that at which output uh, at which which uh, voltage level we are taking the uh, output from uh, inverter all right so uh, this is the inverter output data sheet for the 100 ktl 100 uh, kilowatt inverter so uh, we are taking the 100 kilowatt inverter from the start and we are discussing uh, we have designed the system according to this so uh, before continuing to the uh, to the circuit breaker selection i will recommend that uh, you must uh, visit my previous lectures and you must have uh, uh, i will consider it that uh, you have seen my previous lectures so that you will know the basic know how of solar project design that uh, which factors we need to consider uh, so until this lecture we have calculated the ac cable and uh, we have calculated all the dc design and um, uh, if you want to uh, know more in detail then you should watch the playlist uh, named after solar project design all right so uh let's discuss it now uh, we have inverted data sheet here and this is its output data so the first thing is we need to uh, know the voltage level at which voltage level we need to deliver the power so if you are in pakistan or you are in india uh, you need to look at your grid voltages or either you are in australia some at some locations uh, the grid voltages are 380 volts and at some locations the voltages are at 480 volts uh, like in china or uh, some other countries 480 volts are used but in pakistan we take it as 400 volts so uh, let's say this is uh, 400 volts uh, we have selected the inverter voltage level 400 volts so at 400 volts the nominal current of the inverter will be 144.4 as we have seen in the previous lectures uh, previous lecture we we discussed that uh, if we have 144.4 amps at the rate of 400 volts then we selected the cable size by simply dividing this uh, current value by the 0.8 we got a value of 180 amps all right so we selected the cable of around 70 mm square for this so so uh, let's have a look at 144 amps this is the output its output current so what is the criteria to select a circuit breaker 
which type of circuit breaker we need to select uh, there are different kind of circuit breakers like mcb mccb and acb we will go in detail uh, in upcoming lectures or uh, i will i will separately make videos on these on these circuit breakers in my electrical equipment design diary i am making a separate uh, uh, playlist for uh, uh, for my viewers or regarding the electrical field so uh, we have uh, we have shared a, a video of uh, how to calculate the capacitor size in that playlist so i will make separate videos for these circuit breakers in the electrical equipment design diary so you can watch that playlist also so type of circuit breaker depends on the on our application that which type of application we are having and which type of uh, uh, circuit level current we are having all right so uh, we got a value of 144.4 from the data sheet now we need to multiply this voltage value this current value by a factor of 1.25 1.25 so we will multiply it uh, with the rated current then we will get the value of a circuit breaker rating so let's say our current was 144.4 144.4 this is our current value we will simply multiply it with 1.25 and we will get a value of 180 amps so 180 uh, we will use a circuit breaker of 180 amps all right we need to use a closest value if let's say 180 amps is not available then we will look for 190 amps or 200 amps so 200 amps is the maximum value we can use so from this value uh, above above values then 200 will not be recommended so so now uh, let us look uh, into other factor that uh, if you remember in the DC side design we used a factor of 1.56 for DC side so if we let me open the DC design for you here so if we look at uh, we used a factor of 1.56 so let me check that where we use the factor 1.56 for the breaker selection so this was our all right so here we used a factor of 1.56 i will simply explain that why we will be all right so why we use the uh, 1.56 factor for the DC side because uh, in DC side uh, we know that uh, we uh, we have seen in the data sheet of uh, uh, DC uh, we have seen in the modules data sheet that there are some temperature characteristics all right so what are the temperature characteristics I need to explain here so these are the temperature coefficients given in the module data sheet all right so if you closely look at the temperature coefficient for the voltage <clears throat> this factor is in negative this factor is in uh, negative look at the temperature coefficient for the current this factor is in positive so what does it mean it means that uh, with the rise in temperature its voltage will decrease by this factor its voltage will decrease by this factor but if there is a rise in temperature so its uh, current will increase if let's say our current was how much if let's say our current was 10.5 three this was our current so if let's say the temperature coefficient is uh, if let's say the temperature coefficient is 0 0.05 uh, this is positive if if there is some rise in temperature so our module will be providing more current if let's say this is not this is the imp current 
so uh, let's say if there is some rise in temperature so our module will be providing the more current so that's why we use the uh, 1.56 uh, in the dc side uh, we use 1.56 uh, to calculate the uh, uh, fuse size all right we when we calculate the fuse calculated the fuse size we simply multiplied this uh, uh, IMP of the string or module uh, with this 1.56 then we calculated the fuse so now here uh, on the AC side we will simply multiply with the 1.25 to rated current so when we multiply it with 1.25 we get a value of 180.5 amps all right so from here we understood that um, uh, we will choose the nearest value whichever the value is nearest to 180 amps we will use it uh, we will use it uh, in our circuit now let's jump into the types of circuit breakers that we we have uh, uh, let's say miniature circuit breakers uh, we have different uh, uh, different types uh, of curve which we need to explain here we have uh, three different types of uh, circuit breakers which we have here on the uh, in this table or in this diagram so what first one is the b curve all right this is the type of circuit breaker that has a b curve b curve means uh, its uh, uh, nominal current is uh, three to five times of i n its nominal current is three to you can see the its curve it is this is 3 and uh, this is 5 all right so this is 5 so this is 3 to 5 times of uh, i n so first one is the b curve which has a, a nominal current which has a nominal current of 3 to 5 times of uh, i n so i n is your nominal current which we uh, selected in this case 144.4 so uh, let's say uh, if uh, why we select this b curve or c curve circuit breaker so let me just quickly explain that uh, if uh, let's suppose you have a motor and uh, you have uh, installed uh, you have installed a circuit breaker let's say uh, this is your motor and uh, you have uh, installed a circuit breaker uh, this is amps on regular uh, on regular running condition all right so when you turn on the motor uh, on the initial phase when you turn on the switch it will draw three to five times of its inrush current three to five times of its uh, inrush current so let's say if you have uh, installed a, a, a if uh, a, if it draws uh, three to five times so let's say if it draws 75 amps or 60 amps 65 60 or uh, 75 amps it draws in the initial stage and uh, you have uh, installed a, uh, a let space uh, let's pose uh, one point by multiplying with this 1.25 uh, how much it will be uh, let's say uh, if you have installed uh, 1.25 multiplied by uh, 15 that uh, how much it will be if you have installed a 20 amps breaker then it will trip if you have installed 20 amps breaker then it will definitely trip so what you need to do is you need to install a, a breaker having a different type of curve like uh, this is the B curve uh, you cannot select the B curve so C curve has uh, 6 to 10 times of I n 6 to 10 times of uh, I n means uh, if its I n value is uh, uh, let's suppose you have installed 20 amps breaker so uh, here you have seen you have selected the 20 amps breaker so 20 multiplied by the 10 how much will it be it will be 200 amps all right so uh, so this is how you select the curve of a circuit breaker if uh, you have some load which is drawing uh, uh, more power during the starting phase so you can go for a uh, for a higher curve breaker like a d curve breaker 
which will be the multiplying factor will be uh, more than 10 all right you can see here the multiplying factor is more than 10 so uh, you can select that type of curve of the circuit breaker so this is how you select a circuit breaker uh, hopefully you have liked today's video if you have liked today's video uh, please uh, uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, let me know uh, your opinion in the comment section uh, so that I can answer them uh, in my other videos so hopefully I will see you in next lecture until next lecture Allah Nikkei